What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Retro of Aviation. Hope you guys have a fantastic day today and today we have the November 2022 Great Plains International Airport update for you guys. I really hope you guys are excited for today's video as today we have a massive Great Plains update in store for you guys. So many aircraft and so many movements in today's update. I'm so excited for it and I hope you guys are as well. Super excited for Great Plains everybody. Just want to give a huge thank you to everybody's support on the Great Plains model airport since its debut in August. I was thoroughly super impressed with everybody support and I'm so glad to see all the demand for a fictional airport. It is so exciting to have great planes here on the channel and I am so excited for what's to come with this outstanding airport. I do want to mix, make a disclaimer that there are a couple of things being done in advance so if there's a couple of things that are a little bit wonky in this update I do apologize but I'll do my absolute best with subscriber routes and everything all destinations. I did my best with research but unfortunately as a college student I've been very busy this semester therefore I haven't been able to get all the proper research that I really wanted to but I'd much rather have an update with a couple of inconsistencies rather than no update. So I hope you guys are willing to bear with me and I will do my absolute best to make the next update a little bit more thorough with all the destination details, subscriber routes, and all of those elements. But nevertheless, we're not going to waste any further time and get started because we have a really fun update in store for you guys today. Again, sorry about the lighting. It is going to shade over here pretty quickly as that was an unfortunate sequence right there. Let me fix this up and we will get started. Alrighty, everybody. So once again, for anybody that doesn't know, this is my still relatively new fictional airport that's based in Kansas City, Missouri. So you're going to be finding out uh, many routes throughout here and also, feel free to check out those first couple updates and the announcement video if you're wondering about some of the particular elements throughout this airport. But nevertheless, I hope you guys are excited for today's update and we're not going to waste any further time and get started. Here's the first appearance for the Gemini Jets 1 to 400 scale American Airlines Boeing 777-300ER, the sixth release with the new JC Wings mold. Really glad to see this model. This guy's currently making a non-stop service today in from London Heathrow. This guy's going to be continuing out the Hong Kong. A pretty standard route right there and you love to see it for American. Here's the Boeing 787-8. This guy's currently making the non-stop service today in from Barcelona and this guy's gonna have a continuing service today. Actually out to Mexico City, which is really nice to get to see that route right there. So that's what he will be doing. And then we have the Breast Cancer Awareness, Boeing 777-200ER. This guy's currently making the non-stop service today in from Paris. And this guy's gonna have a continuing service today out to Helsinki, which will be took over by another airline here in the coming months. So stay on the lookout for that. That'll be pretty fun. This American Airlines Boeing 767-300ER is currently making the non-stop service today in from Dallas, Fort Worth. And this guy's gonna have the continuing service today out to Las Vegas McCarran International Airport or Harry Reid, whichever one you'd like to reference it as. This American Airlines McDonald's MD-80 is currently coming in from Chicago O'Hare. This guy's gonna have a continuing service out to San Antonio, Texas. Rapid fire time for the American Airlines section. You love to see it. I'm going a little bit faster because I wanna get as many planes with the nice lighting as possible. Speaking of which, here's a beautiful Boeing 757-200 in the One World livery. This guy's gonna make a non-stop service today in from Miami. And this guy's gonna have a continuing service today out to Denver, Colorado. Really cool 757 route right there. This 737 MAX 8 is currently making the non-stop service today in from New York, Gordia. And this guy's going to have a continuing service today over to, uh, let's go with uh, Austin for him. Let me see if I can get the zoom fixed up. Sorry, I'm still learning the phone's lenses. And then right here, we have the Airbus A321 fence steps. This guy's kind of making the nonstop service in from Los Angeles today. This guy's gonna have a continuing service day out to Sacramento. That is a mainline boost. American Airlines Airbus A321 in the Medal of Honor livery. This is a stunning model, and I'm super glad to have this one from NG Models. This guy's currently coming in from Raleigh Durham and continuing out to Boston Logan International Airport. And then following that, we have this Airbus A319 with fence tips. This guy's currently making the nonstop service in from uh, San Jose. And this guy's gonna have a continuing flight today out to San Juan in Puerto Rico. Very nice. American Airlines Boeing 767-300ER in the chrome livery. This guy's kind of making the non-stop service in from New York, John F. Kennedy, and continuing today out to San Francisco. Let me know what you guys think about some of the retro planes in here. I think I'll do it for ones that I don't get to use very much going into the future with retro airport projects, but I'm not exactly sure because I don't want to make it unrealistic, but it's also really fun to have the retro planes in here. So feel free to let me know what you guys think about that, and I'm definitely happy to adjust to those standards. And then next, we have this American Airlines Boeing 757-200. This guy's kind of making the non-stop service day in from Tampa, and this guy's also going to be staying in uh, Florida with the non-stop service day out to Orlando. This American Airlines Boeing 787-8 is currently making a non-stop service today. Let's say this guy's currently coming in from Philadelphia and this guy's gonna have continuing service today out to uh, Dallas, Fort Worth. And then over here, we have the 737-800. This guy's currently making the non-stop flight today in from, let's go with Washington Reagan for him. And this guy's gonna have continuing service day out to Philadelphia for us today. Alrighty, sorry, this is a little bit tight around here. So let me see if I can get around. Here we go. The American Airlines Airbus E320 is currently making the non-stop service today. This guy's gonna be coming in from Portland and this guy's gonna be continuing out to San Diego. And then the 737-800 with the logo on the winglet is currently coming in from Las Vegas and this guy's gonna have a continuing service today out to, uh, let's go with San Del Cabo for him today. This American Airlines Airbus A321 in the US Airways Heritage Paint Scheme, excuse me, is currently coming in from Charlotte Doubles. And this guy's gonna have a continuing service today out to Atlanta. 
Following that, we have the Airbus A321 Neo for American. This guy's currently coming in from the Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport. This guy's gonna have a continuing service today out to uh, New York. Uh, this is gonna be our Newark flight today. I'm sorry, that is now just Newark. We'll keep that into the real life land as well for this, today's uh, update. This American Airlines Airbus A319 with Sharklets is currently pushing back with the nonstop service today out to Austin, Texas after coming in today from New Orleans. I'm excited to get the new Gemini release that should be coming in pretty soon here. And then this American Airlines Airbus A320 with the Wi-Fi box is currently making the nonstop service today in from, let's go with uh, San Diego for this guy today. This guy's gonna have a continuing service today out to Tulsa. Following that, we have the One World 737-800. This guy's currently making the service in from Detroit. This guy's gonna have a continuing service today out to Minneapolis, St. Paul. A couple of regional jet upgrades to compete with the one and only Delta Airlines. And then this American Airlines McDonald's MD-80 is currently coming in from Oklahoma City, Will Rogers World Airport. This guy's gonna have a continuing service today out to Jacksonville. A couple of nice Florida upgrades here for Great Plains this month. You love to see it. The American Airlines Airbus A319 in the Piedmont Heritage Delivery is currently coming in today. Uh, this guy's going to be coming in from Nashville with the continuing service out to Houston today. And then this 737-800 right here is currently coming in from, uh, let's go with, uh, let's see here. How about San Antonio for this guy and continuing today over to, um, Pence, or no, I'm sorry. I was thinking of um, Fort Myers. There we go, in Florida, wrong Florida city. And sorry, I need to get a better deal on my headphone wire there because it keeps almost getting caught on several planes. This Chrome 737-800 is currently making the nonstop service today. This guy's going to be coming in from New Gordia as well and continuing out to Dallas, Fort Worth. And then the Alaska Boeing 737-900ER is currently making a non-stop flight today in from Portland. This guy's gonna be turning around back out there. Currently pushing back the debut of one of my brand new favorite models. This is the Alaska Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 9 in the West Coast Wonders or Orca livery. I personally think that this is a stunning livery in that uh, Gemini Jets actually did a fantastic job in this aircraft. I definitely look to get that new 1 to 200 version in the coming months. But nevertheless, this guy's currently turning around with the service out to Seattle Tacoma International. Alrighty, and the American E321 is currently taxing out for a non-stop service today. This guy's also going to be heading out to Philadelphia today, and this guy came in early today from, uh, we'll say this guy's coming in from Miami as well. I think we'll go get the American Eagle aircraft and then come back over to Concourse B, so we'll be doing that right now. Alrighty, so beginning right here with the American Eagle Balbirne Sierra Day 900 for the land side terminal here over here at the Costello terminal. This guy's going to make the non-stop service for PSA Airlines today in from uh, St. Louis, and this guy's going to be continuing out to Milwaukee. And here's the Envoy Embry Air Day 145. This guy's going to make the non-stop service today in from uh, Tucson, and will continue out to Albuquerque. This American Eagle Lumber Air Jadish 175 on the behalf of Envoy Air is currently coming in today from Pittsburgh and will continue out to Atlanta. And also one of the new details here is the jet bridges here at the uh, land, or this is the actual land side turn. Well, not the air side, but the land side because it's connected to the actual uh, check-in area. Let me see if I can get this camera lens fixed. I'm sorry, guys. It goes a little wonky sometimes. Nevertheless, this guy was here today. That's 700. It's currently making the service in from Detroit. And this guy's going to be continuing today over to uh, Sacramento for us today. Sorry guys, let me see if I can get this lens fixed. It goes all haywire for whatever reason. That seems a little bit better. This Envoy Embry Ear J-145 today is currently coming in from, uh, let's see, let's send this guy out to um, Knoxville, Tennessee. Is this guy's gonna have a continuing service today out to Syracuse, New York, very nice. Long flight there. This American Eagle Embry Ear J-145 ERJ is gonna be on the behalf of Piedmont this time around. This guy's currently making the service today. I'm sorry guys, I need to get more routes here. I did not have near enough, so I'm just gonna try to get some off the top of my head here. We'll say this guy's coming in from Louisville and continuing out to Cincinnati. And here's the Envoy Retro Embry Air Day 170. This guy's coming in from El Paso, Texas. And this guy's gonna have a continuing service today over to, uh, let's go with uh, Waco, Texas for him. Here's another SkyWest Sierra Day 700. This guy's currently making a non-stop service today in from uh, Reno. And this guy's gonna have a continuing service today over to, um, Let's go with, um, I'll give you guys one oddball for today, Wichita, Kansas. I about said Garden City, but that's a little too small for today's route. And then here we have the, well, not for this airport, this is a mega airport, so not really. But nevertheless, here we got a CRJ-200 making the appearance. This guy's currently making the non-stop service today in from, uh, we'll say that this guy is coming. Sorry guys, again, if I don't have it written down, it just never goes very well, so I apologize. And that goes along with uh, everything else that may be slightly messed up for today's update. But nevertheless, here's the CRJ-200. This guy's currently making the service in from Oklahoma City. And this guy's gonna be continuing today over to, um, uh, I'm just trying to think of some different ones to change it up a little bit for you guys. Uh, Little Rock, there we go. Here's the Mesa House Livery Sierra Day 900. This is a new model here. Glad to have this one. This guy's currently making me non stop service in from Albuquerque. And this guy's going to have continuing service today over to uh, Corpus Christi. 
And lastly, we have this Ember Ear Dish 170. This will be for Republic here. This guy's gonna make the non-stop service in from um, Washington Dulles, actually, which is a new service there, so that's pretty interesting. This guy's gonna have continuing service today out to uh, Fort Lauderdale, so quite an interesting lineup here. And again, sorry about the camera. I'm gonna pause this, see if I can get it fixed, and we'll proceed into the United section. Alrighty, everybody, here we go over here with Turnable B. So looking really nice over here, again, constructed in 2010. Definitely making upgrades as we speak, and I have plenty of ideas going into the future. But nevertheless, let's get it kicked off. So we'll start with some taxing aircraft over there. So there's an American A319 over there on the far side. This guy's currently coming in from uh, Pittsburgh, and this guy's gonna have continuing service today out to uh, Austin, Texas. And there's United Express Bombardier Nacer D-550 on behalf of GoJet. This guy's currently making the non-stop service today in from, let's go with a Fort Lauderdale for this guy. This guy's gonna continue out the Grand Rapids. And here's an Alaska Boeing 737-800. This guy's currently making the non-stop service today in from uh, San Jose, and he's gonna be heading back out there here in a little bit. And there's a Southwest 737-800. This guy's currently making a non-stop service in from Dallas Left Field and continuing out to Denver today. And we'll start right here with Concourse B from there. So uh, beginning with the United Express Ember Ear Day-175. Sorry that the view is not the best, but currently this guy is making a non-stop service today in from Miami and continuing out to New Orleans. Following that, we have the Airbus A319. This guy's coming in from Washington Dulles, and this guy's going to have continuing service out to Cleveland. This 737-900 right here is currently making a new model from NG2. Really like this one. This guy's currently coming in from Tampa and continuing today out to Phoenix. And here we have the Star Wars Livery 737-800, another new model. This guy's currently making the service in from Indianapolis. And this guy's going to have continuing service today over to, um, let's say that this guy is making it out to Dallas-Fort Worth. Getting some competition going there. The United 737 MAX 8 is currently making the non-stop service today in from uh, Seattle. And this guy's going to have continuing service today out to Portland. And then here is an American Eagle Ember Ear Day-175. This guy's also going to be a Republic today. This guy's currently coming in from Washington Reagan National. And this guy's going to have continuing service today over to uh, San Antonio, Texas. This United Airlines Boeing 757-200 is making a non-stop flight in from Los Angeles today on the turnaround. You will see a few turnarounds for United. They just do that a little bit more here at the bigger airport for whatever reason that is. And then here's the United Airlines Airbus A320. This guy's kind of making the nonstop service today in from San Diego, and that is also a turnaround. This Evo Blue Boeing 7200, if I can get a little bit better of a view for you guys right here. This guy's kind of making the nonstop service today in from, excuse me guys, talking very fast. I need to slow it down. I know you guys always comment, but let me know to slow it down. So let me see if I can slow it down here. Orlando MCO on the turnaround service for him too. And this 737 will not be doing a turnaround service. This is a Continental Globe 700 with the Skimitar winglets. This guy's currently coming in from Austin, Texas. And this guy's gonna have a continuing service today up to Chicago O'Hare. United Express Embry Ear Day-175 is currently making the non-stop service today. This is gonna be a Mesa flight today. This guy's heading out to Tucson after making a non-stop service in from Cincinnati. Empty gate where the uh, five, or no, that will not be a 550. There'll be another 175 coming. Uh, that's about the land taking that gate. Here is the next round of gates here, and I'm sorry that I wasn't able to get the ramps out. I literally came home and spent, I think I spent a total while being home, about three or four hours setting up this airport, and I was not able to get it all set up, which is quite crazy, but that hopefully puts it into perspective how long it does take to set up these airports, and I hope you guys do appreciate that. But nevertheless, this is so much fun to make these updates, and it is always very worth it. But the next update, will have our ramps out there. But nevertheless, here is the 175 right here. This guy's currently coming in today from uh, Columbus, and this guy's gonna continue out to Pittsburgh. How about a blue tulip retro CRD-700? We'll say this guy's on the behalf of SkyWest to make it a little bit more realistic than what it would have been during those time frames. This guy's gonna make a non-stop flight today in from Wichita, and this guy's gonna be continuing today out to Northwest Arkansas, staying in within the region, kind of, if you will. And then there's an American uh, 737-800. This is the AstroJet Heritage Delivery. This guy's currently making these service in today from, I um, uh, lost it, had on tip my tongue. Uh, let's go Fort Lauderdale for this guy as well. This guy's gonna have continuing service over to um, Tampa. Here's the uh, CRJ roundabout here, if you will. So we got a Evo CRJ 200. I uh, will say that these next two are SkyWest. Starting with this one, this guy's kind of making these service today in from uh, uh, Providence and we'll continue out to Grand Rapids. And then the CRJ 700, like I was saying, was SkyWest. This guy's currently coming in from Aspen, Colorado, and this guy's gonna have continuing service today out to Albuquerque, New Mexico. This is gonna be a commuter Ember Ear Day 145. I know Citrus Aviation is gonna be liking that one. This guy's gonna be making the nonstop service today out to, uh, we'll send this guy over to Tulsa. This guy came in earlier today from, uh, let's see, I'm trying to, uh, Cleveland, duh, let's do Cleveland. I know it's a little bit uh, bigger of an airport than what a 145 should be, but that's where commuter is based there for. It's kind of cool to get to send their home base aircraft there. Nevertheless, this CRJ-200 will be a Air Wisconsin this time around. This guy's gonna be making a nonstop service day in from Dayton, Ohio, and this guy's gonna have a continuing service day out to um, uh, Indianapolis. All right. 
And here we go into some more mainline aircraft. And I'm sorry that the lighting uh, fell on me, guys. Uh, the college schedule is not treating me very well right now, but what can I say? Here we have the Her right here, 757-200. This is gonna be our California livery. This guy's making a non-stop service today uh, in from Newark, looking really nice on a turnaround, of course. This 737-700 is currently making a non-stop service today in from St. Louis, a little bit of a shuttle service going there. That's actually just gonna be a turnaround too. So quite a few turnarounds into this hub, which is quite unique for United, but I think it works really well. So looking really good here. And here's the Continental Airlines Retro Bone 737. Gosh darn it, camera. I hate when it does that because it takes off the optimization, but I was just simply trying to focus it. But let's see if I can just scoot it back. Continental Airlines Retro 737-900. This guy's also coming in from San Diego, uh, really uh, turning into a popular route here out of uh, Great Plains. This guy's gonna have a continuing service. This guy's actually gonna be heading out east today. This guy's heading out to Washington Dulles. I wish that the lighting would have been a little bit better for the debut of this absolutely stunning United Airlines Boeing 747 SP in the Saul Bass livery. Really excited to get this aircraft in here. And again, just a really cool um, oddball pickup for me. I'm glad I decided to get this, even though it is a kind of a different one for me. I think it looks really cool in another retro 747 SP for the collection. This guy's actually gonna be making a non-stop service today out to London Heathrow. So really cool. And again, this goes back to what I was asking about on the American planes. Let me know if you guys think that this is too much to put retro planes like this in here, or if you guys think Think that I should go with more um, modern aircraft to keep it realistic, but I may just go for hybrid, like I said. Like, for instance, I'm not going to get to use this in a retro airport project, most likely, so it would be cool to have it in here and that sort of thing. So, let me know what you guys think about that. Last but certainly at least for our United section over here on the this is the, uh, sorry about the camera lens, trying to get that fixed. Trying to make sure I get this right before I speak out of my mouth. I'm pretty sure this is the North Pier for B. Here's the United 737-900. This guy's kind of making the nonstop. I, what I need to do is make a map. I know I had somebody ask me to make a gate layout map. So maybe if I just make a map of the whole airport, it'll be a little bit easier for you guys to grasp. Well, so I'll see if I can do that. But for the next update, I'll try to make a note of that. But nevertheless, the 737-800, final aircraft for United here. This guy's kind of making a nonstop service in from Los Angeles today. And this guy's gonna be continuing out to Denver. Delta time. Here we go with the CRJ900 to start. Let me see if I can get this camera lens fixed because it's quite annoying as you guys can see. Um, maybe not quite, but maybe if I mess around with the focus here, it'll fix itself. This CRJ-900 for Delta Connection on the behalf of Endeavor Air is currently making the non-stop service today in from Des Moines. And this guy's gonna have a continuing service today out to Tulsa. Delta Airlines, Boeing 717-200. This guy's currently making the non-stop service today in from Minneapolis, St. Paul. This guy's gonna have a continuing service today up to Grand Rapids as well. The Delta Airlines, Airbus A319, is currently making the non-stop service today in from, see, I'm just seeing if I can get the focus. I'm sorry, guys, still trying to master the phone here. Delta Airlines 319 is currently making the non-stop service today in from LaGuardia, and this guy's gonna have a continuing service today out to Las Vegas. Delta Airlines, Airbus A220-100 is currently coming in from Boston, and this guy's gonna have a continuous flight today out to, sorry guys, I'm just, the focus really bothers me, so I'll pause it here in a minute if it doesn't get any better, but coming in from Boston, this guy's gonna have a continuing service today out to uh, Houston, Texas, IAH. Delta Airlines, McDonald Doubles MD-88, currently sitting idle here at the gate. This guy is actually just gonna be sitting here for the next 24 hours. He'll have service out to Atlanta here in a little bit. That is not because of actually demand. This is actually due to uh, pilot shortages in the Great Plains world. So unfortunately, we are dealing with pilot shortages and some aircraft are having to sit idle till we can get more pilots to fly them. So that is currently where we sit right now with that aircraft. Delta Airlines, this Airbus A350-900 does have pilots today though, as this is gonna be making a non-stop flight today out to Amsterdam Schiphol. This guy came in early today from Paris Charles de Gaulle. So nice international routes here out of Great Plains. Those are quite helpful for us. So very nice right there. American Airlines is Boeing 757-200 and the Chrome livery is currently taxing around the apron here. This guy's gonna be making out for a 3-3 right departure. This guy has a non-stop service today out to Boston Logan on the uh, non-stop flight after getting some maintenance done earlier in the week. And this Exojet Challenger, uh, or sorry, it's just Citation X. I don't know why I always think it's a Challenger, but nevertheless, this guy's making it out to Fort Lauderdale as well. Really nice lineup of Delta airplanes. I'm gonna get the focus fixed because it's really ticking me off. So let me get that going here. Alrighty, that is what I'm looking for. So let's get started right here with the corner gate. Here's the Delta Airlines Boeing 750. Oh, dang it, man. I, I hate when it does that, but Delta Airlines Boeing 757-200. This guy's currently making the nonstop service today in from Boston Logan, and this guy's going to have a continuing service today for us over to Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson International Airport. Very excited to have the NG-757 here. This is quite an awesome aircraft, and I'm really glad to have more new models from NG. Speaking of which, here's another one with the Delta Airlines Airbus A321neo. There we go. That is much better. I really like that camera effort. I there's this mode called macro, I think is what it's called. And I turned it off, but it still seems like that's the problem on the camera. So I'm going to 
gonna see if I can get this resolved for you guys because I'm sure you guys are getting quite annoyed of it. But nonetheless, this Airbus A321 Neo is currently making a non-stop service in from uh, San Francisco today. This guy's gonna be continuing out to Seattle Tacoma International Airport. Delta Airlines, Boeing 77-200 in the Sky Team livery is currently making a non-stop service today in from Portland, and he's actually just going to be turning back out there. So lots of turnarounds today. You love to see it. And next, we have the Delta Airlines Airbus A220-300 variant. This guy's coming in from Salt Lake City, Utah, and this guy's going to be having a continuing service today up to Miami. Heading into the uh, regional jet section over here for Delta Connection, we have the CRJ-700 in the Colors in Motion livery, another new model for my collection. I really like this one. This guy's currently making a non-stop service in from Syracuse today and heading out to Traverse City. Then that CRJ-700 is currently coming in from Oklahoma City, and this guy's gonna have a continuing service today out to, um, let's go with uh, Buffalo, New York. And then the CRJ-200 on the top left of your screen is currently coming in from uh, Fargo, North Dakota. This guy's going to have a continuing service up to Sioux Falls, South Dakota. All righties. Taking it into our next aircraft down here, we have the American Airlines Airbus A321 in the stand-up cancer livery. As my lens obviously chooses to do whatever it wants, but there we go. I get it back into focus here. This guy's kind of making a... See, it, that was automatic. and I, I'm sorry, guys. I'm just trying... I'm, it's frustrating. Nevertheless, this 321 stand-up cancer is currently coming in from Dallas today. This guy's going to have a continuing service today out to Chicago O'Hare. FedEx Express Airbus A300 Freighter is currently making the non-stop service today out to Memphis. This guy came in earlier today from Lubbock, Texas. United Airlines Airbus A320 in the Stars and Bars colors. This guy's currently making a non-stop service today in from, I wanna get a kickstand prop for the case too. That would be quite helpful for these updates. But nevertheless, this Airbus A320 in the Stars and Bars livery is currently making a non-stop service today in from Houston. And this guy's gonna have a continuing service today over to Los Angeles. I've probably done too much talking on other topics. So let's see if we can take it back into Great Plains orientation. Here we go, boys. Alrighty, Delta Airlines Airbus A321. This guy's currently coming in today from San Diego, and this guy's gonna have a continuing service today over to uh, Al or no, Albuquerque's way too big. Uh, let's go with. Um, I need to get more routes going. I feel like I kind of overfilled the airport a little bit, but it's always fun to get as many in here as possible, so it's all good. Um, um, dang it, I had it on tip of my tongue. Daytona Beach is a little big, but this airport's also really big, therefore I think it is justifiable. Delta Airlines, Boeing 737-800. This guy's loading up at the corner gate. This guy has a non-stop service today out to, let's uh, send this guy over to Seattle. And this guy came in from, um, uh, sorry guys, San Antonio. And then the Delta Connection Ember, your date is 170 on the behalf of Republic Airways to round out this concourse. is coming in from Indianapolis. And this guy's continuing service out to Denver, Colorado for us today. The Legion Air Airbus A319 is currently taxiing over to Terminal C. This guy made a non-stop service today in from uh, uh, Porta Gorda, excuse me, and this guy's gonna have a continuing service today out to uh, Austin, Texas. This Velars Airbus A320 Neo is currently taxiing in as well. This guy came in from Guadalajara, and this guy's gonna have a continuing service over to Mexico City. This United Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 9 is currently also taxiing out for departure. This guy's going to have a non-stop service today out to Phoenix, and this guy came in earlier today from Miami as well. Alrighty, and here is another new model out of all planes. This is the Alaska Ember Ear J-175 on the behalf of SkyWest Airways. This guy's currently taxiing out with a non-stop service out to San Diego, which is another new route for Alaska to complement Americans. So glad to see all the demand there and getting a little bit of variety for our Alaska passengers. And a nice model there by Gemini Jets. Very nice. Going to pan it back here for just a moment since we have a departure right here. This Southwest Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 8 currently is doing our first reverse flow of the Great Plains updates, which is really exciting. That means 3-3 takeoffs, which would be north wind takeoffs, essentially, if you guys will. And I actually think that was the south side of B for the uh, United Gates. I think I screwed that up. But nevertheless, this Southwest 737 MAX 8 is currently rocketing out of here with a non-stop service day out to Omaha after coming in from Chicago Midway. Alrighty, FedEx Express McDonald Douglas MD-10 Freighter. This guy's currently taxing out with a non-stop lens correction departure. I need to turn that off on the camera. I've got, there has to be a way to turn it off. Nevertheless, this guy's currently taxing out with a non-stop service out to Indianapolis. This is also going to be a turnaround for us today. Taxiing off of runway 33 right is the Aeromexico Connect Ember Ear Day-190. This guy's currently taxiing in after a non-stop service. Uh, just I gotta figure out this camera. I may just go into the settings right now and see if I can figure it out. Nevertheless, this guy's making a non-stop service today in from, uh, let's go with uh, Cancun for this guy and he's gonna be heading back out there here in just a moment. 
Alrighty everybody, let's get things kicked off over here at Turnable D. We have several awesome aircraft over here and I'm very excited to dive into these. So let's get started. And it looks like the sunlight's coming back on the other side. So hopefully we make it over there for that. But let's get started right here with the Avianca Airbus A320. This guy's currently loading up with a non-stop service out the uh, El Salvador. Really, really cool model right here. And I'm very hopeful for a Euro right release going into the future. So very nice retro aircraft right there. And then right here, this is D10. This is the Aeromexico Boeing 737-800. This guy's currently making a non-stop flight in from Mexico City today and he's going to be heading back out there very nice pushing back right here from d9 is the velars airbus a320 with the fence tips this guy's a non-stop service today this guy's going to be uh, making the service today out to cancun very nice to get to see that right there and panning up to D8 is the Viva Aerobus, Airbus A321neo. This guy's currently coming in from San Del Cabo. This guy's going to have a tuning service out to Puerto Vallarta today. So very, very nice right there. So what I'm actually going to do is go all the way down Terminal D and then come back because we have so many taxing aircraft. So we're just going to go down all these gates. So here we go on to D7. This is the Viva Aerobus, Airbus A320 with sharklets. This guy's going to make it a nonstop service today in from, um, this is going to be our month. Our, I, I'm going to try my best with the pronunciation because I can't see it in front of me. So I think it's... Montreal, Mont Montreal, Montreal. That was it. I think somebody told me Montreal. I think that's how you say it. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Please make fun of me in the comments. I'm asking. I'm pretty much uh, asking to be made fun of there. But nevertheless, I'm pretty sure that is it. So he's heading out to Montreal. Hopefully, I said that kind of right. Sunwing Airlines, Boeing 737-800. This guy's gonna make it a non-stop flight. And I also want to say on these international flights, guys, I'm sorry that I didn't get them all wrote down for this update. I promise by next update because I got, especially on the TUI flights, I got absolutely demolished because Aberdeen is not a 787 hub. And I also got made fun of for the swoop flights. So I just want to say before I say any more of these, I am very sorry if they're incorrect. Please just insert a more applicable destination because my um, knowledge on this needs to be expanded by the next update. So nevertheless, Sunwing Airlines, Boeing 737800. This guy's kind of making a non-stop flight today. Um, I would think that like a Winnipeg would be decent here, Winnipeg or Calgary or something like that. So feel free to insert which destination is correct. A Swoop Airlines Boeing 737800. Uh, Calgary was incorrect as far as I'm aware. So we're going to say that this guy is going to be coming in from um, hopefully Toronto is okay. I'm going to say Toronto. And if that's wrong, then I, I'm just, I'm, I don't know. I, I don't know at this point if that's bad. Uh, WestJet Boeing 737-800. I'm going to do a little bit better with this one. This guy's currently coming in from Edmonton. This guy's going to have a tuning service out to Vancouver today. Air Canada, I'm a little bit better on, I would say. This Embraer Data 175 is currently making the non-stop service in from, um, let's say this guy's coming in from St. John. That's a really cool service. Probably a little out of range, possibly. I'm going to have to do some research on that. But want to give our bigger aircraft some uh, really big destinations. Speaking of which, here's the Airbus A220. This guy's currently making the non-stop service in from, it seems like the focus got a little out of black. Let me see if I get that fixed. That seems a little bit better to me. This guy's currently making the service in from uh, Montreal. Looking very nice. Continuing back out there. And the Air Canada Boeing 737 MAX 8 makes its first debut or first appearance here, I should say, at Great Plains. This guy's making a non-stop service in from, uh, let's say this guy's coming in from Vancouver and we'll be heading back out there. And lastly, before we swing around all these taxing aircraft, we have the Air Canada Boeing 787-9. This guy's taxing in, of course, as you guys may be able to guess from Toronto Pearson. It will be heading back out there. Very nice. Alrighty, so let's talk a little bit about the reverse flow here at Great Plains. So you guys in the first three updates got to see all the flights taking off on the 1-5 left and right. This is actually going to be what we have for our takeoffs on runway 33 left and right. So all the aircraft have to taxi all the way down. So the flow around the airport here, I'll just bring this out so we can see what I'm talking about, is it goes in a clockwise motion around the terminal. So it works easy when planes are able to sneak through right there and just take off on both sides. But since they have to come all the way down, everybody has to come down on one side and then they branch off onto both sides sides from here so that is why this line is so long but we have several aircraft here so let's dive into these ironically funnily enough this aircraft actually just landed this is the westjet boeing 737 800 this or sorry 700 excuse me sorry i'm trying to get that focus fixed because it would be quite nice here this guy's gonna make an a non-stop service day in from uh calgary this guy's gonna have a continuing service day up to toronto Delta Connection, Bombardier Nace, Sierra Day-700 on the behalf of, um, let's change it up and say this guy's Express Jet. That was a, I, they had some 700s back in the day for Delta. So we'll say this is Express Jet. This guy's gonna make it a non-stop service today. Uh, we'll say this guy's coming in from um, Sioux Falls. Or, sorry, we already did a Sioux Falls for Delta, I'm sorry. So let's go with, um, um, I lost it, St. Louis. And this guy's gonna have a team service day over to, um, I gotta get better with routes. There's just, I gotta get better. I have to get better. Okay, despite that, this guy is currently coming in from Destin, Fort Lauderdale Beach. This Delta Airlines, Airbus A330-300, is currently taxiing out for a non-stop service today out to Seoul, South Korea. And this guy came in earlier today from, 
Uh, let's go with Rome. I think like uh, I think Rome would be a nice destination for Delta. So that's where he, he's heading out today. The American Airlines Boeing 737-800 is currently taxiing over to the actives. This guy has a non-stop service today over to, um, uh, let's say this guy's heading out to Richmond today. Uh, that's a pretty big uh, flight right there for American to have that on mainline. This guy came in earlier today from uh, Palm Springs. Delta Airlines Boeing 737-200 in the then new onwards and upwards livery is currently making, or when this model was released, of course, is making a non-stop service today out to Orange County, John Wayne, Santa Ana International Airport after coming in today from New York, John F. Kennedy. This United Airlines Airbus A319 is also taxing out to the active runway. This guy has a non-stop service today over to, um, let's go with Houston for this guy as well, although he did come in from... Um, Sorry, I'm trying to think of where I want to balance some of these regional jet flights compared to some of the mainline flights. Uh, one flight that I think that can be mainline no matter what though is uh, Orlando. So we'll say this guy's coming in from Orlando. The Collegiate Charger 2nd Boeing 727-200 is currently taxing out to the active. This guy's a non-stop turnaround flight out to Cincinnati. And in reverse flow, we do use these, um, I don't know what these entries would be called, like the second one or uh, like let's just pretend this is taxiway golf like golf two intersections so nevertheless we'll say that this is like golf two or whatever you guys want to call this here's american eagle bomb beer nacir day that's 900 on the behalf of mesa airlines this guy's currently holding short and getting ready to take off with a non-stop flight today uh this guy's actually going to be heading off to vancouver which is a really cool route for american this guy came in earlier today from um excuse me guys i could not talk sioux, sioux falls south dakota Flagship Freedom makes its appearance, as you guys know and love it. This is the 757 variant, as this guy is currently making a non-stop flight today in Los Angeles. This guy's going to have a continuing service today. Uh, this is going to be flying a longer flight for us today. Service out to Cancun. Very nice. The Delta Airlines Boeing 737-800 in the Sky Team livery is currently getting ready to take off. He is number two in line for 3-3 right with a non-stop flight today out to um, Las Vegas. And this guy came in earlier today, also from Mexico, as we talked about with America previously. This is a Puerto Vallarta arrival. Number one and ready for departure here in just a moment is the UPS, our uh, United Postal Service. Uh, McDonald Doubles MD-11 Freighter. This guy has a non-stop flight today out to Chicago Rockford. This guy came in earlier today from Ontario in California. Very nice. And I think I'll pan it over to the other side since we have some slightly better light over there. So let's do that. Alrighty, boys. So here we have some really good looking heavies over here. These guys are currently taking a little bit of a rest. So let's zoom in and take a look at these. Starting over there with the British Airways Boeing 747-400. This guy made a non-stop service in from London Heathrow earlier, and he's going to be heading back out there here in a moment. The Turkish Airlines Boeing 787-9 made a non-stop service in from Istanbul. This guy's going to be heading back out there also here in a little bit. And then the ANA Boeing 787-9 made a non-stop service in from uh, Tokyo Haneda this time around. And guess what? He's also going to be heading back out there in a little bit. So looking really nice with all of those aircraft. The JetBlue Airbus A321 and uh, the Den camera did it again, but I actually went into the smooth camera, so I can't complain too much. But nevertheless, that is the Screamers Tell. This guy's currently making a non-stop flight today in from, uh, let's go with Los Angeles for this guy. And he's going to be continuing out to New York John F. Kennedy for us today, looking very nice. And finally, some good lighting at long last. How about that? I did not think that was going to happen today. The American Airlines Airbus A319 with the Sharklets is currently taxing out, getting ready for its 15, or 3 3 uh, left departure. This guy has a non stop service today out to St. Louis. And this guy came in earlier today from, uh, I think Tampa would be an applicable destination for him. So he's coming in from Tampa. How about a McCord Air Force Base C-17 making an appearance here at Great Plains today? This guy's going on a training route. This guy's actually going to be making over to Florida after coming in from McCord Air Force Base. This guy's going to continue out to Florida, like I said. This guy's continuing over to Miami. Very nice. Number one for departure over here is the American Airlines Airbus A319 in the American West Heritage Paint Scheme. This guy's currently making a non-stop service today. Uh, come on, lens. You got the lens. It's going all wacko on me. Whatever. <laughs> this guy's currently making the non-stop service today out to Las Vegas after coming in from Phoenix to represent America West. Very nice. Currently on short final right here, we have the United Airlines Boeing 777-300ER. This guy's currently making the non-stop flight today in from Houston Intercontinental with the continuing service today out to Newark. This is such a magnificent airplane. I really like the 777-300 I'm hopeful to fly on one zoom soon, excuse me. Let's see if we can get a little bit of a wing view there. I know it's not perfect, but you guys can kind of get the gist of what it would look like. Pretty cool stuff. And I really like this model from Aviation 400. Insanely detailed and a fantastic product right here they were able to put on board for us. So great job. Just taking a look at all that applicable detail. Really nice model right here and it looks quite nice in reference to the design so very nice job and like i said this guy's currently coming in from houston heading out to chicago following that 
Here is Great Plains' penalty box. This looks quite interesting, I would say, and I'm kind of glad to ha get to represent this after, you know, many airports have seen this. So thought it'd be nice to get it in here because it's kind of realistic, even though it is a very unfortunate situation. It is something that happens regularly. So let's dive into that. So this is American Eagle and bring your J-175 on the behalf of Envoy Airs in the penalty box. This guy had a nonstop service today out to Chicago here, and that it probably explains if you know much about aviation, why he's in the penalty box. This uh, Allegiant Air Airbus A320 was actually making a flight out to Orlando Sanford, but he somehow made it into the penalty box, probably because of weather. But nevertheless, he came in earlier today from uh, Fort Lauderdale. And the United Express CRJ-200 on the behalf of Air Wisconsin was actually somehow making a flight over to Wichita, Kansas, and somehow got put in the penalty box. I don't know what happened there. Uh, so ask the pilots, not completely sure on that one, but pretty interesting one to say the least. And the penalty box looked quite nice. So expect more penalty boxes to come in the near future. All right, let's see if we can get this lens fixed. I would really like to. Okay, it seems like it stabilized itself. The Aer Lingus Airbus A321neo is currently loading up right here with a nonstop service today up to, um, is it, Sh I don't want to mess it up. I think it's Shannon Island. Hopefully I said that right. Uh, it's something like that. That's their secondary hub. But nevertheless, he came earlier today from Dublin. Of course, they're a predominant hub. So please don't make fun of me in the comments. And here's the infamous. I know you guys are watching. I, I, I'm i so thankful for my la uh, rather large, in my opinion, um, United Kingdom um, viewership, 15% of my channel, which I thank you guys so much for watching my videos. And this guy, this is for you guys. This is the TUI Boeing 787-9. This guy's making a nonstop flight today out to Birmingham. Yes, I am so sorry that I said Aberdeen. Um, I am learning and I am not very good at um, educating myself on that. So I'm going to take some time tonight before I record the next Great Plains update tomorrow and figure out what airport makes the most sense. But I think Birmingham hopefully does. Uh, so if that's incorrect too, I'm sorry. I did not get a chance to look into it fully, but hopefully that's a little bit better. At, at least Aberdeen was a base for TUI, just is not a heavy base for them. So I'm super sorry about that. And hopefully that's a little bit better, but nevertheless, this guy's heading out over there to um, Birmingham. Uh, getting some lighting over here, hopefully. We got the Lutanza Airbus A340-300. This guy's currently making a non-stop flight in from, uh, or this, our flight in from Frankfurt today. This guy's continuing today. Oh my gosh, I don't know why I can't talk. It's like words are just breaking every time because I don't want to mess up any of these routes to keep it fluid for you guys, but it seems like my brain's just breaking when I try to do that. So let's try this again. The Lutanza Airbus A340-300 is coming in from Frankfurt, and this guy's going to have a continuing service today over to Munich. Looking really good right there. Oh yeah, baby, this is looking really nice right here. The Air India Boeing 777-300ER is currently making a non-stop flight today in from Stillwater, Oklahoma. And this guy's gonna have a tuning service today out to New Delhi in India. If you did not get the Stillwater reference, what we're referencing here is we made a joke about two years ago during the pandemic that Air India was starting service to Stillwater, Oklahoma, which if you don't know, that's a really small airport with only two American Eagle flights a day. And we thought it would be quite fun to have it in today's fictional update. So that's why you're seeing this flight to Stillwater every time. So uh, that is why for anybody that may be uh, severely confused on that. So that's just a fun little fictional element. And right here we have the Korean Air Boeing 787-9. This guy's loading up with the turnaround service out to Seoul today. Looking really good. And our Sky Team partners are doing quite well here for the international lineup. McConnell's KC-135 is making an appearance today as well. This guy's just flying a normal flight in from McConnell Air Force Base. And we'll be heading back out there this afternoon. So that's what he is doing. And another new heavy model for the collection is the KLM Boeing 777-300ER by NG Models. A fantastic rendition. They did a really good job on this aircraft. Let me see if I can give you guys some more views of this. Uh, thank you, Focus, for finally cooperating a little bit. But this is a really nice model. This is my first NG Model 777. And I think they did a really good job casting this aircraft. And it looks quite nice in reference to the design. This guy's, of course, as you guys may have been able to guess, is heading out to Amsterdam Schiphol. Very nice flight right there. And really glad to get to represent our Sky Team partners. Although we do have some One World partners down here. Qantas is Boeing 787-9 is coming in from Melbourne today on the turnaround flight. So this guy's looking really nice and very glad to get to see that right here. So this is a fantastic looking aircraft. And let me see if I can get that jet bridge a little bit up. I, I remember watching CLT Aviation 13's updates back in the day when he was trying to get those jet bridges up on the 330s. And that is exactly how I feel right now. So Qantas, a, uh, Qantas a, or, oh my gosh, I'm used to the A380 being here. Qantas 787 serves out to Melbourne. How about this? Another new international aircraft. This is a new airline this time around, though. Royal Jordanian's Boeing 787-8 makes its very first appearance at Great Plains. We're excited to see Royal Jordanian in the region. I believe the closest airport they fly to in the United States that's close to Kansas City is um, Chicago. So it's really exciting to get this aircraft in here. This guy's making a nonstop flight today in from um, Jordan's capital in... Um, oh my gosh, I cannot believe that. I forgot it off the top of my head. Um... I'm going to have to look this up if I, um, Royal Jordanian flies to, uh, let me make sure I get it right. So let me just look it up real quick. 
Alrighty, so this guy's currently making the non-stop flight today in from uh, Mahan's airport. Again, I'm sorry about my pronunciation. I need to get that a little bit more fluid on my side, but still really nice to get Roy Jadanian in here for the very first time. They're of course One World Partners, and it's very exciting to see them here at Great Plains International Airport. So that's what we have for this guy, and like I said, non-stop service out there, so looking really nice. Another new international, air, or not carrier, but aircraft. This is the Qatar Airbus A350-1000 by Aviation 400. Another fantastic rendition. I'm really excited to have this aircraft in today's airport update. This guy's currently making the non-stop service today in from Doha, of course, in Qatar. And this guy's gonna be heading back out there. Really excited to have this aircraft. And I'm also gonna be getting the NG Models 777 to come in the coming months. So definitely expect that to be making some appearances in here. But a fantastic looking aircraft. Aviation 400 did a fantastic job developing this aircraft. And it is quite a nice one. Highly recommended if you haven't got it already really good job and i'm very glad to have this and very excited to have this in the collection part of me but like i said non-stop service out the doha today Alrighty guys, so let's pan it in here to our next round of international aircraft. So beginning right here with the glass jet bridges, of course, we just saw that one on the Qatar, but here's the first uh, really extended one, if you will. This is the Iceland Air Boeing 757-200 in the 80th anniversary livery. This guy's currently making the non-stop service today in from um, Reykjavik, of course, and this guy's going to be heading back out there. This is a super nice aircraft, just thought I'd give you guys some views on this. Gemini Jets surprisingly did a really good job on this one. I'm on the hunt for the Hecla Royal, so I'm not sure if I'll try to get the Gemini or NG one. I think that Gemini one's a little bit more affordable, but I really Want it after seeing it in Denver on June 25th of 2022 in some nice uh, overcast conditions, but it really brought out the northern lights on that airplane. So definitely hope to get that for some rotation in the updates and uh, for the personal collection, of course. The Emirates Boeing 777-300ER makes its debut here at Great Plains International Airport. Really, really excited to have the new Gemini one. And quite frankly, this is one of my best models in the collection. Fantastic job. And finally, a really nice Emirates 333. Thank you, Gemini, for making this. And this has a non-stop service out to Dubai in the United Emirates, of course. Really cool aircraft. I'm glad to get to feature that one today. And last but certainly not least over here, Fraternal Diaz, we wrap it all the way back around. We could not uh, not end this off a better way besides a speeder bird Airbus A380 from British Airways. This guy's kind of making the non-stop service in from London Heathrow on the first daily flight. He's loading it back up and we'll be taking it back out there. And I hope to get some more jet bridges because it's very unrealistic to load a A380 with only one jet bridge. I wonder if that's ever happened before. I highly doubt it, but nevertheless, really nice stuff right there. And we'll paint it into Terminal C following this. Let's do it, everybody. Alrighty, everybody. So here we go with the Turnable C lineup. We have a great looking lineup over here at Turnable C. So let's not waste any further time and dive into this. So let's begin right here. Finally, some really nice lighting has returned. Here's the Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-700 in the Lone Star One livery. This guy's coming in from Houston Hobby and we'll have a continuing service today out to, Om or sorry, Nashville. We already did Omaha. But next up we have the, uh, Hard livery 737-700, excuse me. This guy's kind of making the non-stop service today in from Milwaukee and continuing out to Atlanta. And then we have a Canyon Blue 737-700. This guy's currently coming in today from Tucson and continuing out to Palm Springs. This 737-800, I believe this is the previous NG release, is currently coming in today from Sacramento and will continue out to Fort Myers today. And over there, currently pushed back, we have the 737 MAX 8. This guy's currently heading out to Orlando after coming in today from Puerto Vallarta. So Southwest with a really nice variety here at Great Plains. I think they do a really good job. So how about this three-way shot though? Let's see if we can do it from here. Southwest Airlines 737-700 and the Hart livery is currently loading up on the bottom of your screen. This guy's currently coming in today from Milwaukee and we'll continue out to Columbus today. I'm so sorry about that. In the middle, we had the Missouri 1737-700. This guy's currently coming in today from Tulsa, and this guy's gonna have a continuing service today out to, uh, let's go with uh, Baltimore for him today. And then we have the 737-800 on the top of your screen. This is the uh, Freedom One livery looking super nice. Let me see if I can zoom in for you guys over there because that really does deserve it. This guy's kind of making the non-stop service today if my camera will ever stop changing modes. Uh, out to San Juan after coming in today from St. Louis. Looking really nice right there, very nice. Alrighty, California 1737-300 right here is currently making the non-stop service in from, um, sorry about that. Uh, let's go with uh, Little Rock for him today. And this guy came in earlier today from Reno Tahoe, looking really nice. Here's the 737-800 in the Canyon Blue livery. This guy's currently making a non-stop service today in from uh, Phoenix. And this guy's gonna have a continuing service today over to uh, Pensacola, very nice. 737-300 making it in, and this is another prime example of the retro aircraft, although this one's a little bit harder to tell. But nevertheless, this guy's currently coming in today from um, uh, Indianapolis, and will continue today out to uh, Islip. And what I was trying to say is, yes, obviously does this is a retro aircraft, but like the American Delta examples for um, and United, for to see what the balance was for these updates. Not that this is obviously a retro aircraft, but the balance for the updates. So hopefully that's understandable. 
And here's the Arizona one to round out our Southwest section. Again, another 737-700. This guy's currently coming in today from, uh, let's send this guy out to Burbank after coming in from Oakland. Very nice. Let's knock out this Hawaiian Airbus A330-200 that's taxing in, excuse me. This guy's going to make a non-stop service today in from Honolulu, of course. And we'll be heading back out there. Uh, definitely seeing it, uh, seeing if a Hawaiian wants to do some 321 Neo routes out of here. I'm not sure what they can do yet. Sorry about that. But nevertheless, looking really good. And I'm sorry, guys. This has been one of my poorest airport updates to date. But at least the lighting's looking good now for the absolutely phenomenal Breeze Airways Airbus A220-300 to debut here at the uh, Great Plains International Airport for this stunning aircraft. This guy's going to be doing it in style. This guy's coming in from Tampa today and continuing out to Charleston. And hopefully some new routes for Breeze to come. But we'll have to see what those are, are the, what those are going into the future. I'm just I'm trying to talk today, and I just can't do it. I'm trying to find the balance, and it just it's not working. So... Let's try the Sun Country Boeing 737-800. This is in the previous livery. This guy's currently making the non-stop service today in from Cancun. And this guy's going to have team service up to Minneapolis, St. Paul. One aircraft done right. Can we do it twice? With the Allegiant Air Airbus A320 with the fence tips in the old colors. Travel is our deal livery. This guy's currently coming in today from St. Petersburg. And this guy's going to have a team flight out to Phoenix Mesa. Nice. Let's see if we can do it for a third aircraft. Taxing out for departure, we have the Allegiant Air Airbus A319. Uh, this is in the newer colors. This guy's going to make the non-stop flight today out to Los Angeles after making the non-stop service earlier today in from San Diego, which I think is a pretty cool route here in a brand new one at Great Plains for Allegiant. Beautiful Frontier, this is the Airbus A320neo, Poppy the Prairie Dog by Gemini Jets. They did a very good job on this aircraft in my opinion. This guy's kind of making the non-stop service today in from, I will say this guy's coming in from Denver and this guy's going to have a team flight today out to, uh, they've really been expanding out of Las Vegas. So let's send this guy out to Las Vegas. Here's a 320 counterpart. This is just a normal one, though, and this is the Ordinal to Cardinal uh, aircraft. This guy's kind of making the nonstop flight today in from Orlando, and this guy's going to have a tuning flight today over to... Um, trying to think if there was any destinations that I wanted to add that haven't been uh, featured yet. Um, I think uh, Orlando, Denver, uh, Las Vegas, and uh, let's do Philadelphia. Philadelphia is still pretty big for Frontier, so I think that's quite a nice route right there. JetBlue's Airbus A321 with the Prism Tell is currently making the nonstop flight today in from... Uh, let's say this guy's coming in from uh, Los Angeles and this guy's going to have a team flight today over to uh, Fort Lauderdale. And a JetBlue Airbus A320 with the Stripes Tail is going to be making an oddball flight for JetBlue today. This guy's actually heading out to Atlanta after coming in from uh, Austin, Texas. So two oddballs there for the network for JetBlue. But trying to compete out of a big airport. You can't complain right there. Very nice. Let's see if we get the Spirit to focus. There we go. Here's the Airbus A320 in the Bear Fair livery. This guy's currently taxiing into the active gate after a non-stop, or not active gate, but I guess just normal gate, if you will. After a non-stop flight, man, I'm losing my mind, I guess. This Airbus A320 coming in from Las Vegas, and this guy came in earlier today from, um, St. Louis has been expanding quite a bit. So we'll say uh, Spirit's getting in on the shuttle service right there, too. Last but certainly not least for the tournament, we have the Spirit Airlines Airbus A321. This guy, of course, the Sharklets. This guy's non-stop flight today out to Orlando after making a service today earlier from, uh, I think that um, New York Gordia would be a nice destination for him. So let's say New York Gordia. All righty. Spirit Airlines Airbus A319, the digital delivery is currently getting ready for a short field takeoff. This guy's making a non-stop flight today off to, uh, let's say Fort Lauderdale for this guy coming in from Miami earlier. And that's because the intersection right there, they uh, lose about almost 3,000 foot of runway because they have to do the intersection takeoff. Because if they don't do the takeoff on there, which that's still 6,000 feet, but that's kind of short for these fully loaded aircraft with fuel and everything. Um, you'd have to go over and around. And that's just, that's too much. It, the airport's way too busy for that in North Flow. So they just do intersection takeoff. They go one after one and they barely get aircraft to land in on here. Speaking of which, the Aeromexico barely made it in because it needed to uh, make it over to these gates and they were able to get them over here. But most aircraft land over there on 3-3 uh, left. Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-700 is also going to be performing the same maneuver there. And this guy made a non-stop flight today earlier in from Atlanta. And this guy's going to have a team flight today out to Los Angeles. So quite a long one and a perfect short field principle there. But he has a non-stop flight today out to Los Angeles. Very nice. Alrighty, panning it over here to the general aviation section. We have several awesome aircraft to take a look at here. So we're going to start on your right down here with the, uh, that's a uh, Baron 58 or Cessna 310. It's one of the other, I need to get that figured out. I apologize. Uh, nevertheless, this guy's doing a local flight around the area. And the Cessna 172 is making a non-stop flight today in from, um, I'm not sure what a small airport in the Missouri region would be. We'll say Joplin. It's a little far, but we'll say Joplin. This guy's a continuing flight today over to, um, Lincoln, Nebraska, a little bit farther, but that is where he's off to on his cross country. 
Uh, there's a Thenom 300 right there in the purplish livery. This guy's kind of making a non-stop flight today out to Tulsa after coming in or earlier from um, Milwaukee. That Learjet uh, 45, or uh, sorry, 75, excuse me, in the orangish livery is currently coming in today all the way from Orlando. Uh, and this guy's continuing out to uh, Denver International, not Centennial, but International this time around. They do get some uh, biz jet traffic every now and then, I believe. And this blue Ember, or Learjet, uh, se oh my gosh, what an update today. Learjet 75, if I can talk today, I'm gonna try my best to. This guy's going to make an, a non-stop flight today from the unique destination in Springfield, Missouri. This guy's going to have a continuing flight today over to um, uh, Aberdeen in South Dakota. I don't, I think they have a runway that's long enough for that, so hopefully they do. And here's the uh, Challenger 300. This guy's currently loading up and getting ready for his non-stop flight out the van Nuys, making all these other biz jets look like um, they're not very good. This guy uh, came in earlier today from Houston Hobby International. Very nice. Silver's making their debut. Sorry, I could not get the aircraft to sit properly at this position. There you go. That's the best I can do for you guys today. Silver ATR. Uh, yes, you're probably wondering why this is all the way up in Kansas City. Well, Silver's actually expanded up to this region. This guy actually made a nonstop flight in from Little Rock. And what this guy does is does several hops throughout the states. So this guy heads on the Little Rock from here. And then I believe after Little Rock, he heads on the Jackson, Mississippi. And then following Jackson, I think he goes to, I think it's Destin. I don't think he goes anywhere in Alabama. He might go to Birmingham. Yeah, we'll say he's going to Birmingham and then Destin. So nice hop there for Spirit. And I think that, or sorry, uh, Silver. I think that's helpful for their fleet and of course it tips back well whatever and there's the jsx Embry ear js 145 at long last in the uh die cast form i'm really glad to have that in here today this guy's kind of making the non-stop flight in from dallas love field today and he's continuing out to forgetting what airport um i think it was steamboat that got service from jsx and real life recently so we'll say there and if it was some other destination that is the one i was referencing and despite AHA being gone in real life, I am still uh, happy to have them in the fictional updates because I think they were a great airline and it's just unfortunate that they didn't quite, weren't quite able to make it, but still a great airline for our hearts. As this Ember Ear Data 135, or this is a 135, yes, excuse me, is currently making the nonstop flight today in from Reno, Tahoe and continuing back out there, of course, as per usual. I do want to say the Boutique PC-12 is not here for our um, EAS service today. It is, um, they unfortunately had some malfunctions as we'll talk about in the next uh, updates. Stay on the lookout for that. Alrighty, everybody. So the round out our Great Plains update today, we got our cargo section and a little new section over there that I'm excited to show you guys. So let's do it. Alrighty, so beginning right here, we have the UPS Boeing 767-300 freighter. This guy's currently making the non-stop service today in from Louisville and we'll be continuing back out there. And then we have the Airbus A300 freighter. This guy's currently making the non-stop service today in from uh, Albuquerque and this guy's going to be continuing out to Miami. This Boeing 757-200 is currently making the non-stop service today in from, um, uh, let's say that this guy's currently coming in from um, Stone International Airport. I apologize about that. So that's where he's coming in from. The FedEx Express Boeing 767-300 freighter is currently coming in from Memphis. It will be continuing out to Los Angeles. And the Boeing 757-200 is currently making the non-stop flight today in from San Antonio. It will continue out to Houston. The Kalita Air DHL Hybrid Boeing 767-300 freighter is currently coming in from Cincinnati on the turnaround, of course. And the DHL Boeing 737-800 freighter is currently coming in from Miami on the turnaround. I believe that's on the behalf of iAero Airways. So looking really good with that aircraft right there. The American Airlines uh, doubles DC-10 in the hangar right here is currently getting uh, fixed up. And this is actually going to be heading over to a cargo carrier soon. So stay on the lookout for that. That is what he's doing with the guys floating in there. And we have two stunning MD-80s. The uh, right one came in from Dallas earlier today and we'll be heading back out to Dallas tomorrow. And again, this is a pilot shortage, not because they're just sitting over here. The left one though did just get out of routine maintenance and that is why he's over here. He's gonna be heading back to the skies tomorrow and this guy has a nonstop flight today over to uh, Boston. Nice flight right there. Okay, so this section's really cool. So what is actually going on over here is these aircrafts actually got retired several years ago, as you guys may be able to tell by which ones these are. And these guys are actually gonna be going on to new private carriers. So they're coming by Great Plains to uh, pretty much get refitted with the huge maintenance facility we have here. And I look to get some more hangars, scrap foldings and different items like that. And I'll talk about that here just a little bit more in detail in just a moment. But yes, this is a Continental Airlines doubles DC-910 right here. And this is in the red contrail livery. This guy's currently stopping by before heading on to his new owner. I don't know, I don't think these retired with Continental, but still just fun to put it in here. So that's why we have it here. And then following that, we have the Delta uh, Delta Airlines Boeing 737-200 in the colors and motion livery, but this has the express titles. And this guy also came in from storage and he's gonna be heading on to a new private owner here pretty soon. So excited to get to see that right there from Delta 737. 
Alrighty, and next up we have a line of aircraft. So pretty much what you're gonna be finding here is just a line of aircraft that are currently uh, being stored here, or not stored necessarily, excuse me, but currently just sitting idle until we have more pilots to fly some of these flights. So that's why we just have, uh, it's pretty cheap here to park planes and we have plenty of room. So that's why Great Plains agreed to this. So you're gonna find various aircraft, including the American E320. And sorry, my headphone wire is currently messing up. So sorry about that. All right, there we go. The Reno Air 737 for American, of course. The Canyon Blue 737-800, another one. This Frontier, Airbus A320, uh, Neo, this is Ed, Eddie, and Edwin, the Penguins. The Spirit, Airbus A320, and lastly, the Sun Country Boeing 737-800 in Type Pod livery. These guys are all sitting here waiting for some additional pilots, but stay on the lookout for the next update as we'll continue that storyline. So yes, some many storylines here at Great Plains, you love to see it. I'll talk about that here a little bit more in detail for storyline. And last but certainly not least, we have the Air Canada Express Mobile Day 705 This guy's currently texting in after a non-stop flight in from, um, this is our, uh, another flight in from Vancouver. This guy's gonna be continuing out today here in a little bit, but he's just coming over here for idle uh, rest uh, since there's no room over there on the apron. And just like that, that will do for today's Great Plains update. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I do have some detail to dive into. So let's get started with that. So I won't try to make it too long, but I do have some items I do want to talk about. So let's get started. So first and foremost, I am sorry that this was one of the wonkiest updates I've ever made on my channel. I just could not talk today and I don't know why. Uh, I guess that it's just uh, one of those deals that I got off a little bit and then I was not able to recover very well. But I thought the back half of the update was pretty good. So. And again, sorry about the lighting as well. Of course, it decides to do what it's doing right now, but there we go. So uh, very sorry about that, but nevertheless, we're doing the best what we have. And kind of talking about Great Plains. So first and foremost, like I said, I decided to end up doing subtitles for all the subscriber routes because I felt like it was a little bit easier with me pre-recording these updates and everything to just do it that way. So um, that just makes it a little bit easier. So if you do submit subscriber routes, I get them in there quicker. So expect that to come along with um, all the additional subtitles and everything. Again, I'm super sorry about the... Um, um, what's, what's the wording? Uh, just the lack of, um, there's a couple items that were off, including the international routes and everything. So that will be fixed by next update. And, uh, first and foremost, just wanted to say huge thank you to you guys for all the support on the Great Plains Model Airport. I want to say more in an early, uh, portion of the update, but I just want to leave it for the end so you guys can watch the full update. I did not think that this airport was going to be so well received just because of how big it was and everything, but it seems like you guys love the big airport. And I didn't think that you guys would, uh, be one to watch this long of an update and everything. So thank you guys so much for all the support on this airport and I promise I will continue to make it as good as possible. I know this update was definitely not the most stellar just because of the lack of um, pretty much just knowledge. It's more of a knowledge thing and I'm gonna be getting better with that and also making more innovative ways to make it fun like the uh, area right here and additional elements to come. So definitely expect that. And again, sorry that this was, wasn't was perfect. It was definitely, this is only my second time ever setting up the airport too. So that was definitely a change to get everything all set up and everything. And I promise that I'll be doing better in the future. But uh, yes, it was definitely really tough to get all those uh, details all sorted out. But I promise going into the future, I'll do better. So. Again, super sorry about that, but definitely expect that to be better going into the December update, which will be really good. And again, sorry that these updates have to be pre-recorded so far in advance. Uh, I just cannot justify spending five hours to set up the airport every single month. So that's why we do that. But luckily when we do get the new models in here, they are quite on fire and hopefully more to come. Christmas should be big. Hopefully Massive Unboxing 25 will be a really good one. I haven't quite decided what I want to do with that, but I'm sure when this video is coming out, we may be getting close to that. Stay on the lookout for that. Along with all the other details, really fun holiday season here. I'm not sure when this is coming out, but I'm sure we're probably around Thanksgiving, maybe a little bit closer to it, maybe not. But happy Thanksgiving if it already passed or if it's getting close. Fun holiday season. And of course, winter break's coming up for all of us too. So that should be awesome. Happy early Christmas and all those fun items or anything else that you may celebrate. Again, really fun times. I'm super excited for it. And I hope you guys are as well. But again, really, really exciting update in store. Again, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. So many exciting elements to come. I really hope you guys are excited for it. And ultimately a super fun time ahead. It's gonna be absolutely awesome. I'm really excited for what's to come. Hope you guys are as well. And with that, that will do for today's Great Plains International Airport updates. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. My name is Redder of Aviation. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Take it easy, everybody. Stay safe, trust the process. Do what you love and love what you do. My name is Redder of Aviation. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys soon as Redder of Aviation is signing off.